Hey, this is Pete from 21st Century Prepper. Uh, tonight's podcast, we're going to cover uh, an update on the coronavirus, uh, some quarantine ideas, and uh, some of the stuff that's going on in the country right now. So with me is Skip, Good as evening. usual. Good evening, everybody. Uh, let's start with you, Skip. You said you had a bunch of uh, some stuff some numbers for us so let's yeah. go through that it, and uh, let's see it's uh monday right yeah it's monday 316 uh 2020 most, yeah 2020 most of this stuff was from between six and eight o'clock six and eight o'clock eastern standard time and i say that because things are absolutely changing so fast that you know two hours from now these numbers could all be totally irrelevant so yeah <clears throat> okay uh, probably definitely by tomorrow morning yeah definitely Matter of fact, to get off topic real quick, if you go to the Corona Tracker, uh, I don't have the website on my hand, but literally every time you refresh it, the numbers change. So, yeah. yeah. So let's start off it's with the one. For, it's the one through Johns Hopkins. So no, uh, actually, I use another one. Uh, you do use a different one. Yeah, okay. I can send you the link. Um, I think it's a little better because you can sort it by country and you can sort it by this and that, and it's very easy and it's not. Okay. It's not quite as, as long easy. as you. Uh, there are some fake ones out there, supposedly, right, right. that are loading you up with uh, malware. Shit, so yeah. <laughs> please be careful. Right. Please I'll, be careful. Uh, I'll try to in the next podcast. I'll have that link. I don't have my cell phone out here with me, so uh, so okay. let's go. Let's go with the numbers today. Today, the U.S. has seen its largest one-day increase in death toll since the outbreak has begun. As of 9 p.m., the total deaths was 87, which had 19 of them alone today. That's pretty scary. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's pretty significant. <clears throat> there's 4,667 confirmed cases in the U.S. 74 people are marked as recovered. Uh, there are 182,442 confirmed coronavirus cases worldwide. But please remember this includes the numbers from China, which we all know is China. You know? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, let's see here. That means it's shit. Yeah. There For is, you people that have tuning in for the first time right there are 7,158 confirmed deaths worldwide again see the china disclaimer yep france began a 15-day lockdown today limiting the freedom of movement of citizens who are allowed to leave only to see doctors buy food or walk keyword is walk to essential jobs the number in deaths in france has dramatically increased over the weekend and more than 5,000 people are infected now Wow. Yeah, that was pretty big. Uh, big talking point for today, the Dow plunged 3,000 points. Um, I think we're going to see a pretty shaky economy here coming up in the next couple of weeks. So I think that's pretty significant to add to this discussion. Um, next couple of uh, months. Yeah. Uh, so many states are now on lockdown that li I literally could not compile a list of without going through 35 different news articles to see all the different states. So yeah. we're just going to say, consider your state being considered for being locked down. If it's not, uh, even my home state of Maryland today totally got locked down. We are not on travel restrictions or anything yet, but I don't think that's going to be too far out coming. Yeah. The New Jersey governor has said businesses must all close by 8 p.m. and residents should not leave their homes between 8 and 5 a.m. Uh, it is recommended that a statewide curfew go into effect to contain the virus. Uh, that's a pretty big one. That would be the first curfew. Uh, what else we got here? Um, the FDA reported in a White House briefing that manufacture, one manufacturer's tests will be undergoing a quality contract control this weekend this couple days and a batch of 640,000 tests will ship as early as Monday everybody's oh, talking wow. yeah, yeah that's every, a lot yeah everybody's talking there's not enough tests it sounds like the private sector really is trying to step up here yeah uh Italy yeah. announced 349 new deaths today today from the coronavirus pushing the death toll yeah, over and they 2, were and we were concerned about the they were doing about 200 a day last week right and we were like, holy shit, yeah. now it's 300 and some today? Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's it, double. More than half of Italy's dead have died in the past five days. So if you look at their numbers, half of them have died in the past five days alone. Yeah. That's why this thing is growing. It's it's Everybody's like, oh, there's only 17 deaths or there's only 42 deaths. Right. It's like, that's because it's a slow-moving thing. It's It takes 
the cor- the quarantine the uh, incubation period is up to fourteen days. You don't right. get sick right away. Yeah, it's busy. you can you can go fourteen days before you get sick, and then and you're contagious practically the entire time. Right. So there, you're everybody you've interacted with in that fourteen days could potentially get infected. And then they have to wait another 14 days. Right. And then all of the people that they interacted with in that 14 days could also get it. So well, this, there's not that many deaths. It's not that bad. Cool down, people. It has the potential to be nasty shit, people. Well, that, so, that goes perfect with the next bullet point. The CDC is recommending starting immediately for the next eight weeks. Yep. Two months, people. Eight Two weeks. freaking Two months. months that we don't go out. We don't go to events of more than ten people. You know, this is real. This is a, a big freaking deal. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, this is starting to... The numbers are starting to get real. You know, when you talk about money. You know, finally, we're getting to the numbers where the, the you know, penny and dimes don't mean much until you start adding them all up. And right. It's the same thing here. This well, is... I'm, slowly creeping I'm upwards. Going to, yeah, upwards I'm going to talk about money when we get into the free-for-all part of the podcast uh, and get past these bullet points because, you know, there's there's some serious concerns for everybody here in the state of Maryland uh, with oh, what yeah. they just did today. Let's see, what else we got? Uh, Canada shut down the borders to all non-citizens today. That's a pretty big, big deal because Canada is usually... You know, yeah, Canada's like a sieve. Yeah, Canada's Canada. Um, <laughs> this is my favorite one. And I can vouch to this. Liquor store shelves, cigarette stores are still stocked with everything. Now, Pete and myself have heard so many times in 21st Century Prepper how the first thing is going to be to go is all the alcohol, and we should prep alcohol so it's a bartering tool, and we should prep cigarettes so it's a bartering tool. Well, I got news for you. You can go right to the liquor store right now and buy five gallons of the cheapest shit you ever want, and there's plenty in stock. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, Although they're right about the toilet paper. Right? Yeah, they were right about toilet paper. Whatever the fucking reason that is, that yeah. still baffles me. It baffles everybody. Like people <laughs> buying toilet paper. Yeah, no sure. <sighs> All right, so, what else we got? Surgeon General warns that the U.S. could be Italy if Americans do not practice social distancing. Social distancing helps slow the spread of coronavirus. This means avoiding crowd places, maintaining distance from others, and staying home if at all possible. Um, yeah. The only problem with that is no one's going to do it. No one's going to do it. Very few people are going to do it. It's, yeah. <clears throat> I, I can tell you right now in our area, people ain't going to do shit. They're going to go where they want to go, and they're going to do what they want to do. Well, sadly, we as Americans have this it's not going to happen to us mentality until it happens to us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. The kids, uh, Minnesota uh, called school uh, off, starts Wednesday, uh, and for eight days, but that eight days is right now just to prepare for doing online school so they right. think it's going to be extended past that eight days well that's my April. next bullet point uh as of tomorrow more than half of the public schools students will not be in class this week because of shutdowns 33 states plus major districts are closed yeah that's that's crazy. a significant number yeah yeah but I have a I have a son in high school and a daughter in middle school and the my son was like everybody's talking about going this way or going here and going there and you know doing this and doing that together and it's like that's the, kind of he, and he even way. said it I mean he listens to his parents were his parents obviously and, and it's a teenage person they don't listen to their parents that right. much or at least they pretend they don't listen to your parents. Uh, I did it when I was a kid. Everybody does it. Uh, but he said, one of his friends, and I'll put it in quotes, said, let's go to this place and hang out. And he's like, that kind of defeats the purpose of us not being in school. Right. We're, getting, we're not going to school because they want us to stay away from each other or big groups. And the guy's like, eh, whatever. Let's go have some fun. So, and I, I, some friends on Facebook today were posting about the kids and I, I believe it was Nebraska. He's like, the kids are at the mall. The kids are at the movie theater. The kids are at the whatever, whatever, whatever. And they're all congregating together. It's, yeah. What's the point? Yeah. And I said, well, it's time for parents to be parents. Yeah. Tell your tell your kids to stay home. Get on a freaking, my God, Netflix, Hulu, uh, Disney Plus. Get them a PlayStation. 
get him a, better yet get him a fishing rod or a book get him out in the backyard you know i i rode down the road today <clears throat> three kids run out in front of us and they were carrying fishing poles Oh, and yeah. my other half looked at me and said, you know, I can't even be mad that they ran out in front of us because they're carrying fishing poles. At least they aren't sitting in front of the TV. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, at least it, and as long as they stay six feet away. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Social distancing. Well, but, la- yeah. It's- the last thing that I have here is a pretty big, significant thing. And you, I don't know how to pronounce the dude's name. It's the, the doctor from the uh, National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease. Yeah, Fauci, I don't know. Either. Anthony Fauci, his, and this is a direct quote. Americans should be, pre- be prepared that they're going to have to hunker down significantly more than we are as the country is doing. He goes on to say that keeping the number of those infected low so as to not overwhelm the U.S. hospital system is very important. And you let the curve get up there, this size, the entire society is going to be hit hard. You know, you think about that. He's telling you if we do not do our parts and stay the fuck away from people that just like in Italy we overwhelm the system there's only so many yeah. ventilators there's only so many beds you know yep um, and they're tar- the Italy thing is we've been following Italy's curve so if you look scary. at this graph and it's all over the place you can google it to say uh, google Italy versus US comparison or something like that coronavirus comparison uh it, this graph slowly goes up and up and up and up with their numbers, um, and our numbers uh, are seeding their. Our, our numbers have ex- we're about two weeks behind Italy, and our numbers have already ex- exceeded Italy's numbers from two weeks ago. That's scary so. Shit. So the numbers that Italy is at now, two weeks from now, we will most likely be at yeah. be beyond that. It'd yeah. probably be. Two weeks from a week and a half from now, we might be matching Italy's numbers from right now instead of two weeks or even a week. Who the hell knows what this is going to do? Especially once the testing gets out there. If they're if this, this testing, this drive up testing that they're going to have at Walmart and CVS and all this crap, where you can go in there if you have, if you're, you're experiencing the symptoms, yeah. It, symptoms, uh, you can go and get a swab test done in the drive up. Uh, and now the, the number of tests. It will be done. The numbers are going to explode as soon as the tests come in. It's going to be. I think it's going to be crazy. So, I, uh, I'm not one into the martial law thing, so I'm not going to even bring that up. No. I'll do it. But I, I can't help but wonder. And I believe it'll be on a state by state basis. I think they're that the White House is going to leave it to the states. But uh, I really do believe you're going to see states following New Jersey's lead and instituting curfews. No travel bans, uh, depending on the state, you know. Uh, I, I think that's a real possibility now. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I think uh, he'll. I think they'll definitely push it onto the state's shoulders. I think, uh, along with you know his little statement today about uh, what was it, intubators or something yeah, like yeah. that or whatever it was. Face masks, um, wasn't it? Yeah, something, whatever. I didn't catch the, I was working, but, well, working quotes, but um, <laughs> I didn't catch it all, but he caught a little grief because he said that it should, the state should rely on I'm doing sorry, that yeah. instead of, and that, that's true. Step up. Uh, the, we don't have to do everything by the feds. I mean, for one thing, you have the bureaucracy of the federal government is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, asinine. It's just, yeah, completely asinine. You need uh, <laughs> fucking government. I tell you, why people want more government is beyond me. But anyway, yeah, uh, I don't I don't see – for one thing, there's not enough people to enforce everything. So it's, it's not going to – even with the National Guard. There's only 13,000 members of the Minnesota National Guard, and, you know, not all of them are – some of them are, you know, paper pushers and – Granted, they've been trained, but how much training <laughs> technically is that account for? You know, you go and qualify every few years and uh, run around a track and make sure you're healthy enough. But so, yeah, the martial law thing is, I think, is a joke. Maybe, but I, I really do see, and, I, I, and I've heard a couple of things 
that like uh, they really are considering locking everything down and, and making it so that you only have to go to essential things and that'd be food, drugs. Yeah, and, you know. And I mean that would be easy, but you don't have to do it by really by force. You no. know, you don't have to have armed guards at roadways to do that. You just close every business. It's, yeah. Well, they've sorry, pretty much closed everything here. There's no place here, to yeah. go. There's no place to go, so you stay home. Every bar, restaurant, uh. I mean, we really closed everything here in Maryland. Maryland is absolutely closed. Yeah, it, we uh, we were announced today, in Minnesota. The the governor is uh, closing restaurants and bars, uh, except for takeout and delivery. Same here. Uh, right. My mother in law owns a restaurant. Uh, she doesn't have takeout and delivery. It's a little cafe, uh, and she doesn't even take credit cards. I mean, we're in the we're in the hinterlands here. Yeah. Uh, and she didn't want to pay the fees for credit card purchases, so she wouldn't, unless she does some reason decides to do like a Venmo or whatever on her phone, she has no way of, other than cash transactions, uh, and then it kind of defeats the purpose, right? Well, we have a, a restaurant here in town. <clears throat> I'm not going to mention the town or the restaurant, but they are a very nice seated restaurant and they announced this morning that they were going to abide by the governor's things and they were going to do takeout and they do takeout but they posted just probably a half an hour ago that they are closed until further notice because doing takeout only one in one out of the restaurant was entirely too difficult for them you know mm -hmm. so yeah you have to that's one thing she has to have the orders to stay open you right turn on the grill and all that crap that costs money exactly and, uh, if you don't sell enough to and your, make it, yeah, your cooks and everything else, you know. Yeah, well, they have like four employees total, anyway, gotcha. so it's not like it. <laughs> <clears throat> it, it's not going to affect. And two of them are family members, so it's not like it's going to affect them too much that way. But yeah, it's uh, uh yeah. It, it, well, since we're a on crazy the... time, this is unprecedented. This well, has never happened ever in the his in the history. This large scale in the history of this country, ever. World War Two, they didn't close restaurants. Well, that's the real shit hits the fan, in my opinion, right there. It's not yeah. the freaking virus. It's the effects of the virus. I mean, yeah. I have friends on Facebook who are, you know, nothing to do with preparedness, people that have worked for me, and, you know, and they're out of work now, and they're like, what am I going to do? I have bills. I don't have much savings, you know. I, yep. It, it's going to put a hell of a burden on everybody in this economy. Yeah, my uh, I've said it before. We work we work at home. We have two businesses out of our house. Uh, both are being affected, not greatly yet, but I foresee more happening. Uh, and uh, it, it my wife my wife has been through about seventy three moods today. Uh, <laughs> she's up and down and sideways and turns around and up and over and it, it, yeah, it's spiraling up into the ceiling and then zings over yeah it's it's driving her crazy and we have and we have the savings and we we have cash on hand and we have nice savings in the bank and we have an extra account we could go to to pull cash out of if we needed to and have it directly deposited into our bank account and but yeah it still freaks you out because yeah absolutely you're, you're blowing that savings that you worked hard to build up and it, it, I know that's what it's there for but it still sucks because what happens in eight months if you don't have the savings built up again you know something happens so well right now I think it's safe to say that <clears throat> I believe this is going to go two months they may start opening businesses back up I'm not sure it, uh, it all depends on how people react to this but I don't yeah. think two months is at all out of the question for this for the closure yeah. oh easy yeah yeah, the, some of the teachers today were saying, you guys aren't coming back. Right. We won't, we won't see you this the rest of this year, or this this cal calendar school year. I'm not right. talking about in the fall. I'm talking about this calendar school year. A couple of them were like, yeah, we're not going to see you, so other than online. Um, and his a, 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 my son has been studying for the ACT, which right. I've never gotten – don't understand that why you study for the ACT. I never studied for the ACT. We didn't study for the ACT back when I was a kid. He's been studying for months. He even has an ACT prep class that he takes. Right. And he's got this big ass book sitting on the coffee on the kitchen table right now. Things probably 
three and a half inches thick. And ACTs were supposed to be in April, and now they've been pushed back to June. Right, right. So hopefully he gets to take them before he goes off to basic training in late June. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise, cool. otherwise, there goes his applying for colleges. Yeah, no shit. Sure. push that back, and colleges are first come, first serve, you know. So he might get screwed out of his college pick. You know, if he doesn't get his ACT done and he doesn't get his applications in fast enough. Can you do that online or is that not a thing? No, that's a that's an in person only thing. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. I said they should do it in the gym. You know, you could yeah. put put tables out or desks out yeah, 15 and have feet them feet fifteen feet, feet away 10, from each other. Yeah. Yeah, ten feet apart. Well they're they're apart anyway because you don't want people cheating. Uh and do whatever. I I know it'd break the ten person rule, but bring in 50 kids, 50 kids at a time. He's only got yeah. 102 kids in his class, so it's not like it would be that big of a deal. And take the damn things, but I guess they pushed him back to June. So, so quarantine. Let's talk, update a little bit on that. Hopefully, everybody has got their toilet paper. <laughs> I, I, don't, yeah. I don't. Literally, people, how much do you poop in a certain amount of time? I mean... That's how you figure out what you need to store. How much do you use in a, in a single span of time? That's what you need. You don't need more, like five times more than that. You need what you need. I know it, the hoarding thing or the, the prep thing, and you need to have stuff, but you should have had it. If you're a prepper, you should have had, had it. Yeah, you should have had it. Yeah. You don't need to go out and buy 20 rolls of or 20 packages of toilet paper unless you want to be a dick or hand it out to people if you're going to hand it out to a bunch of old people go ahead uh, but yeah I don't get the toilet paper did no you see them two guys in Tennessee that bought up all that freaking hand sanitizer that they were going to sell on Amazon uh-uh. yeah they bought they like 17,000 bottles of it oh wow yeah and they got stuck with it because Amazon wouldn't let them sell it because it was they were afraid of price gouging <laughs> Well, I'll give it to the guys. I'll give it to them. They donated it to the oh, okay. to uh, that, somebody. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was funny. Wow. I saw uh, a picture on Facebook. It was like some woman pushing a shopping cart, and she had like two forty-eight packs of rolls of toilet paper and like three things of food. Yeah. Yeah, that explains you, ev- everything you need to do. Yeah. You you gonna be eating your toilet paper? <laughs> uh. <laughs> sure. Toilet paper milk sandwiches, man. Uh, it's back to quarantine. Uh, what are you going to do with your kids for two weeks or even two months? I mean, a uh, good time to, you know, education just doesn't come from schools. Right. Uh, if you got the internet, and then whether it's on your phone, on a laptop, on a tablet, or an actual tower computer, PC computer, go f- find some cool-ass crap on the internet to have them look up. And you know what? Go through some. There's a bunch of study guides and stuff online. I'm pretty sure Down, you can go to our state's website and they offer a bunch of uh, school planning and lessons and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I'm sure they probably do. Uh, but yeah, and there's a ton of and our kid kids go have websites that they need to go to all the time. Um, but go find some stuff and and little kids. You, there's little kid guides out there that if you got like a six year old or seven year old, go find some kindergarten first grade, second grade stuff. Print it out or even just download it or have it on your computer so they can do it and have them do that. Time to be parents. It's time to lead by example. Uh, games. Uh, not just electronic games and not just park it in front of the TV and turn on Disney Plus or right. whatever. But, uh, like Skip said earlier, Outdoor activities. Yeah, take them outside, teach them yeah. to throw a football, you know, or learn throw, to throw yeah. a football yourself. I just I just read one, and I shared it on my own wall, something about uh, life skills, changing a tire. Balance yeah, that's check. a big one. Uh, what else was there? How to inflate your tire, how to check your oil. How to check your oil, uh, yeah. how to cook, uh, do the laundry, uh, sew on a button. Um, just, there's... All types of stuff you can do with your kids. Uh, give them certain chores to do. If they, if your kids have never had a chore to do, this is a really good time to help you guys out get the house cleaned or 
you know, it's, it's spring, or spring's getting here, uh, spring cleaning. Yes, definitely. Uh, get them in there and clothes that don't fit anymore, get them organized and piled up and maybe boxed up so you can take them to Salvation Army or Boys and Girls Club store or wherever to donate them or get ready for a garage sale this summer. Hopefully we can have yeah, garage sure. sales this summer, you know. Uh, anything, dude. I when I was first gonna be a father, first time, first kid. Uh, I told my boss, and my boss's father was there. He was the guy that actually like owned the place. It was a restaurant, and he was an old guy. He all he did was fish. Uh, unfortunately, that's where he died. But uh, <laughs> he I'm looks at the. I'm sure he was and, cool with that. Uh, We were not. We were not married. The woman I had a child with. We were not married. And after a few months, I asked her to marry me. And uh, we're now divorced. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I showed him the engagement ring, and all he did was say, uh, <laughs> "He goes, he goes. Well, you got fucked for that fuck you got." <laughs> um, so guess what, parents? <laughs> Step up and be a parent. I know. And I'm not talking to all of you. Obviously, some of you are really good parents, and but there's some people out there that are really crappy parents uh, and don't pay attention to their kids, don't talk to their kids, don't even know what their kids are doing. Um, become more – if you're stuck at home with your kids and you got nothing to do, good time to become a family again. Uh, have dinner around the table as opposed to eating separate all over the place. Yeah. Talk about your day, talk about your what. If you got high school kids, you got to start talking about the future and uh, what they want to do and schooling and, you know, all that kind of crap. It's If you're a religious type, set up some Bible study or whatever yeah. you want to do, you know, yeah, or absolutely. whatever you book you look into or if you even look into a book. Um, think about the tree you're going to worship on the backyard. Whatever you do, it doesn't matter to me. Um, but yeah, time to be a family, time to suck it up. I mean, it, this could cause issues. Uh, this could cause a lot of issues. <laughs> That's what I said in the chat earlier. Nine months from now, I can't wait to see what the pregnancy rate is and the divorce rate. Oh yeah. And probably for the same family. <laughs> Very possibly. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, we got to And you know what? If you're getting on each other's nerves, get away from each other. Yeah. Uh, go in the next room, cool down, go outside, go into the garage. Uh, I was going to say maybe take a drive, but maybe <laughs> depends on how stringent people are around you uh, with this going on. Take a drive if you have to. Just yeah, say, take a walk in the backyard, go start the lawnmower up, do something. And yeah. <clears throat> uh, it'd be really strange here because we still got about a foot of snow on the floor, yeah. on the ground. But, uh, you know, uh, where there's actual spring happening. Yeah, do some yard work or whatever. Get away from each other, cool down, relax. Uh, and when your other half says that they want to go do something by themselves, don't get pissed off or upset that they want to go do something by themselves. You remember you're not with each other normally on a 24-7 basis. So, oh, yeah. You know, yeah. If, if the guy or the girl says, <laughs> yeah, if you, if you want to go out in the garage and, and work on whatever project you're working on, go do it. If your wife goes, says that she wants to go back in whatever room and go do something, let her freaking do it. Give her space. Yep. Yeah, or the kids, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Just make sure what they're doing online if they're doing anything online. Yes. Parental controls. Just going to throw it out there. Yep. They do have those, everybody. They have parental controls. You can watch what your kids do on their phone 24-7 if you have, if you want to. Um, uh, food. Uh, maybe don't go crazy on the food, but go get... You know, I think enough. you're going to have a hard fun time finding anything to eat here right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, I have seen the pictures from my grocery stores. I have seen pictures from grocery stores all across Maryland, and it is a fucking disaster. Like, it, there's nothing left. Meat lockers cleaned out. Uh, frozen food sections cleaned out. It is just absolutely amazing that this happened like this. I have I have a brother-in-law who works for a company that it's a produce company and he was we 
had dinner with him the other night, uh, and he said that they're bringing back. Um, they have to take over another route for another distribution center because the, the Twin Cities area is getting so hammered that they need to put all their stuff toward the Twin, Twin Cities. So this one up here uh, is now delivering to other site part of their region. Right. Um, but he said their warehouse is full as of now. Uh, you know. My understanding and, is even it, Walmart it, says that their warehouses are full. They just had to get it from the warehouse to the store because the, the panic just happened yeah. so fast that it yeah, was yeah. ahead of and, the trucks. And they're short of drivers now. Right. Because not that they're sick or anything. It's just that they have they can only work so many days, at least at the time. At, you yeah, know. I was going to say. It's because now the national trucking, whatever. Yeah, they changed that. Wave, but that's just because that's just them. That's not companies. The companies right. are still going to hold their drivers accountable to the certain 40 hours, hours a week. Yeah. Guess who? Guess who's really in charge of that? Your insurance company. Yeah. I see. <laughs> Just because this national trucking, whatever it is, said it, we're going to waive the rest period, doesn't mean your insurance company is waving, waving the rest period. So. And drivers can uh, only drive so many hours at a time before they just. Yeah, I mean. Conk out, you know. What's the average age of a truck driver? Fifty-seven, something like something that. Something like that. I read that a while yeah, ago. It's, yeah. yeah, it's some like mid to late fifties. So yeah, you're talking. You're not talking young guys who can stay up for twenty-four hours at a time. You're talking. I don't know. I've, I tell you, I've been around some truck drivers before. Some of them are some badasses when it comes to that. But <clears throat> you know, all it's going to take is one accident, and that company's going to put a stop to it. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. And you can only go so many days. So I mean, you could go twenty-four hours. That's I've gone 33 hours, but then you're de- you're done for a couple of days. Yeah. You're wasted for, and so it doesn't really benefit you in the end to do that. So the the stuff is there. <clears throat> it just needs to get to the stores. Well, the thing that amazed me about all this is, and you you know vaguely where I live. I live on the eastern shore of Maryland. The western shore of Maryland. It has Baltimore, D.C. metro area, Annapolis, uh, some pretty big cities. Yeah. They were cleaned out, obviously, but down here on the shore where I'm at, which is pretty rural, they cleaned out real quick, and they're still cleaned out, like really cleaned out. Uh, the problem is that they're they're now trying to get Baltimore and, yes. and Annapolis and Washington D.C. filled and leaving us high dry. Yeah, there's more population there, and so then you little guys down in the rural areas, it's going to take longer. It's yeah, probably the same situation works. there that it is here, where the, the distribution centers had to readjust. And yeah. Now, now you're getting inst- your Walmart instead of getting it from the distribution center over here. Now they're getting it from another one. Right. And the other one is another 200 miles or whatever, another 100 miles the other, the, the different direction. You know. So it's, it's, we're not. We don't have a shortage. No. Across the country, we just have an out situation where yeah. the outs are prevalent, prevalent and they will get filled up and of course people have to calm down and stop buying everything yeah don't go ape shit uh, go in get what you need have a nice comprehensive list go in get you what you need before they start limiting people on what they can do that's um, already done you know, here. yeah that's done so uh, you know if they limit, limit start limiting you I saw one thing they limited some of the four cans of one product or whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah, Aldi had a four can limit. I saw a photograph of the sign. Aldi had a four can limit on the same thing. So you could only yeah. buy like four cans of mixed vegetables. You could buy four cans of carrots, four cans of potatoes, but you couldn't go in there and buy a flat. Which, let's be honest, if you're a prepper like us, I generally, when I go in there, I buy an entire flat. Yeah. Yeah. So do I. I'll whole case it. Yeah. Sam's Club or something. Our Sam's Club, I had to go to a dentist appointment today, which is literally by Sam's Club, and I sent you a picture, Pete. I've never, and I'm talking Christmas time, Black Friday, I've never seen that many cars. It took up the entire parking lot. It took up the parking lot next to it. It was, I've never seen anything. Then we drove by Food Line just to see what that looked like. Same situation. It was just wall-to-wall cars, and you you know, in the big grocery stores, they have the big plate windows, so you can see in there, the lines yeah. were asinine. It was insane. 
Uh, yeah, I'm glad I don't work there anymore. Yeah, no shit. And oh, and it's Sam's Club gas station. Now this one surprised me because nobody's talked gas crisis or gas shortages or anything like that. But the Sam's Club gas lines were insane. So I don't know if that's dropping the full fuel prices doing it, making everybody buy it up, or if people are starting to wonder about gasoline. But nobody yeah, said I, anything about shortages with gasoline. Yeah, nothing. I and I don't foresee a shortage in gasoline. Although Trump did say something about yeah, the reserves buying it up. Yeah, they're they're uh, jacking the reserve up, but um, yeah. So I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't either. I know that if you're a prepper, this is the perfect time to take a pen and a paper out. You're going to be stuck in your freaking house for a couple weeks. Start oh, yeah. start seeing where you've. You know, we all sit there and we play out scenarios in your mind and you think, okay, I got enough of this, I got enough. You're going to learn right now what the fuck you need. Start making yep. notes. Start saying, <clears throat> oh, well, I should have bought more toilet paper. Oh, I should have bought more Kleenexes. Oh, I didn't have enough Vicks. I didn't have enough Mucinex. So, you know, start. It's another thing you can do to to pass the time as quarantine. Yeah. 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 And get you know what? Get your If your family isn't really on board, wasn't on board with it before. Oh, they will be now. <laughs> Hopefully, they're going to be on board now. So get them involved and get them, give them assignments. Give have your kids go count some of your stock or you know, and then talk to them about this is your this is your thought. This is the idea of doing this in case this happens or whatever you know, and involve them in your planning now because they're probably on getting on board. I would I would um, caution everybody to stay away from the bullets and rifles and knives and that end of the prepping. Keep it to the real world prepping of food, water, gasoline, things like that. Because you don't want to yeah. freak your family out. Okay, yeah. could it could something strange happen? Of course, because God knows six months ago we didn't think we were going to be talking about the kung flu. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. don't bring up the bullets and the death and the, the you know. That's not fear is not a good way to get somebody into prepping. You you have a real example of why you need shit right now. Yeah. Don't use the fear of it. Just right. use the straightforward fact that everything's okay, we, gone. We they want us to stay home, and we can't go anywhere other than the grocery store for medical reasons. So this is why we have this because we don't want to go to the grocery store that often, right? Not that the grocery store is going to be empty. It's right. just that we don't want you don't to, want to expose yourself. We don't want to expose ourselves. So this is why I have this. This is why we have this much food. This is why we have this. This is why we have that. Uh, now, in this scenario, we're most likely not going to lose water or power. But there's scenarios, and explain them to them the type of scenarios that where we can you could lose water. And yeah. power, hurricanes, and then, uh, earthquakes, yeah, ex tornadoes. Explain why you have the generator. Explain why you have the the solar panels. Or explain why you have the Berkey water filter, or you know the whatever you've got. That it's a good time to explain. Now, obviously, and show them how to use the shit. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, don't be explaining this to a seven year old because you're not going to remember it. But you know, if you got teenagers, involve them. Uh, little kids, you can involve them, but you know, don't, don't go into big, long-winded things about why yeah. with a little kid because they don't give a rat's ass. So yeah, it's just uh, it's a good learning, good time to learn stuff, uh, good time to reconnect as a family. Um, you got no sports to watch. <laughs> Well, we, we kind of overlooked the single aspect last time. I think we should touch on that a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Single people. Yeah. I'm not a single person, oh, so no, it's no, kind of no. hard for me. Yeah. <laughs> and neither are you. But no. uh, get... Get involved. Find somebody to talk to. Check up yeah. on an elderly neighbor, you know. Yeah, you got... you got We got the most advanced communication system so far that the world has ever known sitting right in our probably right on our table or desk or in your pocket or whatever. Uh, all the kids today at high school had to download Skype. Yeah. So um, get on Skype and Skype with your family. Skype with your uh, 
em fellow employees or, or uh, fellow students if you're a student in college or whatever. Right? Well, I mean, I can give you a great example. Here in town, they're, uh, they actually started a food drive for families in need that are out of work, uh, kids in need that are out of school that are able to get to the free lunches that they're offering because, quite frankly, they're quite far away from where we are. I thought that was a little unusual. But so they're mm -hmm. taking up volunteers and they're asking for volunteers and help. There you go. Go help somebody. Be proactive. Meet some new people in your community. Um, yeah, and volunteer. If it, someone sets up a like volunteer thing to uh, deliver food or whatever to elderly people or whatever, see if you can volunteer to do that. Or, yeah. Um, until the military steps in to do that. So, <laughs> sounds like they're already ready to do that here. Uh, National Guard was called up here. Yeah. And uh, uh, I didn't know that we had a Maryland Reserve uh, Medical Corps. Uh, they called them up as well. Our governor has said that they're going to uh, add 6,000 hospital beds by the end of the week. I, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but huh. <laughs> that's pretty substantial. I. I all right, I'm going to go conspiracy for a minute. What the fuck do they know that we don't? Yeah, that's it. I raised that question the last couple of days. Um, what these are rather extreme measures that they're going through. Um, so what 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 uh, do they know? Do are do we have the real numbers? Um, yeah. What what's the deal? I don't know, and there's no. There's nothing to back that up other than a sneaking suspicion, you know. And Italy's numbers. So it's <clears throat> it's, it's uh, quite some amazing steps that we're taking. That's what I told um, her. Our grandkids are going to be learning about this in high school, you know. Yep, probably. That's pretty crazy. We, ha we have the potential, and you know, and I figured the numbers, we, I think we did it. We talked about it at the last update. Yeah, talked it was about, think, several, first several podcast, weeks ago. We said, you know, 450 to 500,000 people. And then that video that came out last week uh, from the guy from the U University of Minnesota talking 480,000 people. That yep. was the numbers that they had. Um, dead. That's a lot of people. A lot of people. Um, it's so, enough to make you pay attention, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is... What was what was Spanish flu? Point six percent of the population, yes. and the population at the time was one hundred and fifteen million. So, what is that? I got better you than me. <laughs> I can't do that in my head right now. No, I Normally, I'd be able to, but I've been talking too long now. So, uh, let's see, one hundred and fifteen. Let's go one hundred and ten. Makes it easy. 110 million. Oops, 111. Well, uh, that's not right. <laughs> oh, I did six percent. Yeah, that would be. So, uh, Spanish flu, six hundred thousand. I'm not sure. Died. I don't think they ever really knew the numbers because it was a little bit. I, yeah, I think the numbers are. I'm not really sure, but um, so yeah, it's still half a million people, close to half a million people potentially, and that was be that was before all these steps that they've taken. So maybe this this could cover it. Down. Yeah, if people listen, uh, if people listen and, and wash their direction. damn hands, wash your damn hands. Yeah, yeah, we hadn't said that yet. This one, yeah. wash your damn hands. <clears throat> um, so yeah, stay home. Well, I'll tell, I'll tell my funny story from when we went out. Uh, I was at a large gathering, public large gathering, and I was in the restroom, and one of the guys didn't wash his hands. And all of a sudden, I heard like six people from the restroom yelling at this guy to wash their damn hands. Don't! I was I was so impressed by this because you know, uh, <laughs> it was a younger crowd. And yeah. like one guy was literally ready to fight the guy for not washing his hands because he needs to help prevent this virus. I thought that was pretty freaking cool. <laughs> so, yeah, wash your damn hands. Um, the shutdowns, uh, obviously, 
I think our our second update, I think they would had shut down the sports stuff that night, hadn't they? Something like that, or that day? Yeah, I think we covered that. But all the other stuff was just crazy. Uh, a lot of, so unfortunately, a lot of hourly employees are going to be out of work now for a little while. And lots of places. Restaurants closing down, waitresses and or servers, sorry. Uh, servers and whatnot, and bartenders not getting tips and all that kind of stuff. Fortunately, most states you can't take your drink with you, so you can be yeah. uh, mixing drinks. So uh, the cooks are still gonna be working, and uh, whoever takes the food out to the car is still gonna be working. But um, over half the employees of a typical restaurant aren't gonna be working. Well, time. the thing that I don't they particularly care for is none of the leadership has addressed what they're gonna do about this yet. If anything, because like in the state here, if they shut everything down, our governor, which who I respect and, and actually voted for and have no problem voting for again, took the steps today, but has had, you know, I, I've heard online, I have $26 to my name. What the hell am I supposed to do? I, I've yeah. seen that and by a friend, you know, and you, your heart goes out to him. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, there's a server or something, you know, uh, Nobody's addressing that problem yet, and that, that kind of is shitty because there's a lot of people that aren't going to sleep tonight. Yeah. So, yeah, it's they're talking tax credits for employers, so they keep paying their employees, but when, you, when you're when a tip employee, yeah, uh, how does that work? You know, where you average their tips, <clears throat> reported tips. Of the, that's where you should report all your tips. So, yeah, you know. sure. <laughs> so if this ever happens again... It's actually you're actually getting real money as opposed to the money that you report claimed. Yeah, didn't have to pay taxes on. Uh, but yeah, it, it's it's a as my father says, it's the mel of a hess. Yeah. Um. So, um, and my wife looks forward to me becoming my father. She's really excited about it. <laughs> so. And keep in mind, uh, it's still early. This podcast is done when, the, you know, like within the past day and a half is when all these closures are. So we really don't have the information yet. Some of you guys might be listening to it a week out yeah. from now. Uh, again, we'll just throw it out there. It's 316 uh, 2020 and uh, 1050 at night on Eastern Standard Time. So, I mean, things, Christ, I, I could be sitting here and I haven't paid attention online and something could have changed already. So, yeah. Yeah, big time. And considering the president's having a, a press conference every day it's yeah uh, and so is our governor uh, and i'm pretty sure that if you look at other states the governors are probably being very proactive and having press conferences oh, yep yep yeah. yeah ours is he talks for a few minutes and then turns it over to the people that actually right. do some work you yeah. know the health person or the person that runs the the school education secretary and that kind of stuff right so but yeah it's uh it's a very fluid situation right now. So, well, hopefully, um, it'll come up with a good plan here because I know a lot of people are affected by this. I, and I took the steps today just because uh, to ask the mortgage company what exactly is going to be happening if this runs for four months. You know, yeah. If they have yeah. a plan yet, I have not yeah. received a response. I will be happy to let you know the response. Uh, yeah, yeah. Get... Time to be proactive. Got to be proactive. Don't want to be reactive when once it. Yeah, you don't make want to call, get the make a call to your credit card company. Yeah. Make a call to the, whatever. I mean, some steps have already been taken. They're talking about, you know. Uh, well, they did it with the electric, uh, electric phones, cable TV, and I think that's it. The governor has said that you are. He is not. They are not allowed to turn it off for non-payment right now. That came yeah. out today. That was a mandate. And they cannot charge you interest on your late payments. On your late on your penalties. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's going to be uh, interesting. This stuff goes here. What happens and what? Uh, it's great interest rates right now too, though. You Matter got some fact, extra cash. I fib to you because he and also you want to refinance your house. <laughs> well, I fib to you because he also said that no renters could be evicted. Yep. Which you which is cool Minnesota. if you rent, but uh, I own my house, and, you know, I'd rather not lose that if shit gets bad. So, again, yeah. contact your mortgage company. Yep, yep. And if you can pay rent, pay it. Don't be a douche and hold money just knowing because you're not going to get evicted. Right. 
if you have the money, if you're still working and you have the money to pay your rent, pay it. Pay your bills. Be an adult. Um, if if don't hoard your money because just because you're not having penalties right now if you don't pay your pay your cable bill, uh, pay it because that company. Guess what? That company also has to pay their employees. Yes. Uh, That'll keep so, the economy going. Yeah, you got it. It's it's cyclical. You know, you you get money, you give it to the other people for your stuff. Boom, 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 and it comes right back to you. So. Uh, if you if you have money, pay your bills. Um, so, yeah. And if you don't have money, and if the money's getting tight, get rid of some shit. Yeah, no doubt. Just get rid of the streaming service. Get rid of if you have three cell phones in your family. If you can dump two of them, dump them. To contact everybody that your kids or whatever their friends, tell them that your number switching to this number temporarily. And you can get it back when everything gets back on track. Uh, you know, instead of so instead of paying that hundred fifty dollar phone bill or hundred eighty dollar yeah, phone sure. bill or whatever it is, it it knocks down to like sixty. You know, so start looking at that crap. I think we brought it up during the last one. Uh, I think yeah, the, one, the uh, quarantine one. But start looking at stuff that you can get rid of. I know it goes against what I just said about those companies have people to pay, but you also have to leave. You're not; they're not providing you a service anymore. So, yeah, it doesn't matter uh, if you're not paying them because they're not giving you a service. You're not taking something for free. You've given up what they offer. So, um, but and also involves if you have money or not. So that should be a couple of interesting, uh, interesting couple of weeks. So that's what. Uh, yeah, a couple of months. I, yeah. I well, I am. Into- June or even July, it's going to be. I'm of the opinion that by Friday, possibly Monday, you're going to see more changes here. Uh, the, the cases are exploding so quick. Uh, yeah, just and now with it. all these tests. And, um, you know, here's photographs of people in bars for St. Patrick's Day and uh, downtown yeah. harbor. <laughs> they were elbow to elbow. I mean, you know, they they're going to stop that. Whether or not you like it or not, they're they're trying to look out for you, and they're trying to look out for everybody, and they're going to stop that shit. And when they do, how they go to go about doing it is there going to be a national guard vehicle sitting in cities? It's po- entirely possible at this point. I mean, potentially. Yeah, I mean, does it would it really surprise you after what's happened the past week? You know. Yeah. No. Not really. I, I, I never thought I'd see the day that they close every casino in the state of Maryland. I mean, oh, yeah. Las Vegas, they've closed them, too. I mean, can you yeah, imagine the loss of revenue? That, that's, we're not talking millions of dollars. We're not talking billions of dollars. We're, gonna, we're talking trillions yes. of dollars now. It's, um, here's, one, uh, here's a <clears throat> meme I just clicked on Facebook. March Sadness. Yeah, no shit. Uh, first bracket is watch TV. Second one, uh, 16th bracket is yard work. Eighth bracket is vacuum. Ninth bracket is dust. Fifth bracket is interact with family. Or maybe not brackets, but 12th is tax prep. Four, <laughs> get to know your wife. <laughs> <laughs> that one and 13 is barbecue. <laughs> that one that I saw, uh, day three of sports, yeah. I looked over and saw this woman next to me and found out she's my wife woman, or this something. Woman sitting on the yeah. couch next to me and found out she's my wife. She's a really nice woman. Yeah, that's freaking funny. Well, I and, know the networks and are sadly, it's kind of true. Jeez. No, it is true. There's a lot of truth to that. You know, get to know each other again. Turn on some sexy ass music and uh, light a couple candles and talk to her. Yeah, you know? just be careful about the baby, bo- baby yeah. woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll get you in trouble quick, won't it? Yeah. So. Don't add that burden to the <laughs> <clears throat> to the recovery, because uh, th- this isn't going to be just the step of the fingers and recovered. Yeah, they're not going to boom. It's all more. all yeah. done. Okay, well, everybody's fine. It's going to take it's going to take a while to get back up. I think my wife and I were talking about this last night. I think this could be. Um, very beneficial because I think the global economy thing that we've been that's been pushed for the last yeah. decade and a half, twenty years, is going to slow 
and if not slow, maybe even reverse itself. Uh, and they're going to bring back um, made in the USA know, manufacturing yep. to this country, and whatever. Hopefully, you be. know we so we're not so dependent on getting crap from somewhere else. Well, add an uh, asterisk next to that that whatever country you may live in, because there are some international listeners. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> same. Th- yeah, but yeah, it's uh. Sorry, Sweden. I didn't mean to offend you. But, we have some listeners in Sweden. Well, I know, like, I know the president got a lot of shit because he refused the test from Germany, and he wanted the United States to set up, step up, and and start manufacturing these tests for ourselves, and they did. You know, that was yeah. that was a big takeaway from the press conferences. He was he was there with all the CEOs for the different companies and and talking about it and had them talk and say what they were doing and and that was pretty uh, that was pretty presidential, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, let's see what else is there. I'm not drawing too much. Uh, just wash just your damn hands. Relax. Yeah. Take it easy. Just settle down. Chill out. Uh, your family's probably going to get on your nerves. Yeah. <laughs> so just take a step back, relax, uh, go to another room, read a book, do something, whatever you can do. Um, I don't know. I haven't heard anything about libraries closing in Minnesota. Ours are closed. Yours closed? Yes. Uh, well, get the, get the thing on Amazon, the Audible whatever, not Audible, but the, the book thing where it's uh, nine ninety nine for unlimited books. And I think the first week is free. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Do that and read some books, whatever. So just chill out. And don't be a douche and help some people if you can. Uh, stay away from people as much as you stay can. Away, and stay away from people. Yeah. Help them, but stay away from them. Yeah, I mean, you know, what are they saying? Six feet, I think. Yep. This is a six foot. Six rule. feet. Yeah. yeah that, I've been there's a, there's that a company out of Minnesota here, the Firelys. Uh, it's a grocery store. Um, they're asking the first hour of the day that if you're not, if you're an able-bodied person and you have plenty of cash and whatnot, to not come the first hour of the day. For the elderly. Um, is this so people with so the elderly can get there and whatnot and shop uh, people in need can shop first for the first hour and then well, they can move on I so, saw that Dollar General Corp is instituting something like that of a special shopping time specifically for yeah. the elderly I don't have the facts on that so I can't say if it's first thing in the morning or if it's going to be one day a week or whatever it is but uh, they are definitely doing that. Yeah. So. <clears throat> and if you uh, live in the country like myself, I'm pretty sure you have a Dollar General at this point, and you probably call it your mini Walmart and do a whole hell of a lot of shopping there. We do. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, okay. Uh, let's wrap her up. Just everybody, uh, chill out. Uh, everything will be fine. <laughs> we'll get through it all. So. Um, and be ready to listen to the next update, which could happen tomorrow. Who knows? Yeah, <laughs> and, and if you really get bored, you can go back and listen to our podcasts. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, boost those numbers up. <laughs> By the way, we don't get any. There's no advertising on these things, so we make. I don't nothing. get any money doing yeah, this. We make this nothing. Game, so, yep, this nothing. It's cost me money. It's cost me. Three hundred, roughly three hundred fifty bucks to do this, plus the time that we put into it. So yeah, it's every bit of that, and probably a little more just in the recording gear that we have, because Pete and I are across the country from each other, so we talk yeah. via internet, and it's quite a technological uh, miracle that this shit works half as good as it does. <laughs> <laughs> so. Every night, every time we connect, we're like, "Hey, it worked." <laughs> it definitely works. Every time we connect, it's like, "Hey, it worked this time." So, okay, that will wrap her up. Be good, everybody. Take care of one another.